Welcome to my channel. It's Erlene Garcia Art. And today I will be sharing with you how I create quick and easy birthday cards. So I start with a package of recollection blank cards. And then I chose three different colors of Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. And I will be uh, using a makeup sponge that I put in a little clip and be staining the edges of my birthday card. And this is one of Tim Holt's relatives. There was like three or four of him in the package. So I chose that one. That was the good size for this particular card. And then I took two stamps and I'm going to stamp on a catalog page. And then I will be cutting it out and distressing it. And I believe that catalog page came from a Sears and Rollbox catalog. And it was a little scrap piece that I didn't want to throw away, so I thought, why not stamp on it? So here I'm aging it. And putting a little bit of glue on the back. And then I always glue most of my sentiments on black cardstock and rip around it. I also do that with a lot of uh, images as well because to me it makes it pop more. And then so this is a piece of scrapbook paper from the Tim Holtz Ideology Halloween scrapbook pad. And even though it's not Halloween, I'm still using it. I'm going to distress it and I'm going to crinkle it. And then once it's all crinkled, I'm going to take the ink and enhance the little wrinkles that I put on it. In that pad, there was a lot of cool uh, documents. So I thought that would make a perfect background for this little kid. And there I go, crinkling it up. And I will be doing that with a leopard piece of scrapbook paper also throughout this video. There I go, I'm enhancing the little crinkles. And you might wanna try this too, it's just really, easy and fun and you can also do it to a piece of paper that maybe you thought you were going to throw it away and then you're like no I want to use that paper it just really makes it more dimensional and then I'm bending up the edge here and because the underside is a little bit wider I distressed it also and these little uh, balloons and hats and packages there was three of them in a package on sale at Michael's for 99 cents. So I grabbed all of them. I make so many birthday cards. I knew that I could be, you know, I was getting a great deal. So I'm enhancing the little package. Even though it is brown, I still wanted to add a little more color to it. And it stuck really well with the glue stick. And then so I'm going to be putting uh, foam tape on the back of him and then I will distress his little cheeks and you know when you go to the antique store and you see those vintage pictures and they're colorized well that's what I'm totally obsessed doing to all of my little vintage people and even my basic black and white photos it just really adds a little oomph to it so yeah he looks cute and there was, like I said, four sizes of him in that package. And I think you get like 45 or 50 people in there. And it's a great deal for $5.99. Oh, he looks so cute. I had also colorized his hair with the yellow ink. But I think I cut that part out to speed up the film. So I'm just doing a lot of the, most of the important things for you guys to see. Like his little pocket square. And these little birthday hats are the ones I talked about that I will be showing you how to make. And what I do is I make a lot of them, put them in a little box so I can create a card really quick at a moment's notice. And that's just a little piece of pipe cleaner which I bought a large package at the Salvation Army. And it was an odd color, but I knew I would use it for something. 
And really the brown came in handy for the vintage photos. And that's a balloon that I will be teaching you how to make. Always sign your artwork. I'm distressing the back of the card and I stamp my name on the back. Wow, he looks pretty cute. And I did distress the envelope. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's totally up to you if you feel that you want to do that, if you have time to do that. So let's look at him. Oh yeah, that's cute. So because I didn't have enough room to put the sentiment at the top, I'm ripping off that little tab, coloring where I ripped it, put foam tape, and I'm gonna put it by his knees. So isn't that cute? And I added a little stone on there. So basically I took a Martha Stewart balloon punch and pipe cleaner, foam tape, and some little crystals. And there's some more little catalog paper. And like I said, I always use the black to enhance. Can't you see how it enhances it? That looks pretty cool. Piece of pipe cleaner, stick it on with the foam tape and bam, it's in your box and ready to use on any type of a card. And then just stick a little jewel, if you have a jewel, um, on some of the balloons, I'll use a little heart. And on this one, I used Austrian crystal and plastic crystal. I used a little star punch for the top of the hat. You could use a little flower punch. You could use a regular hole punch or you don't even have to use something to add to the top of the hat. Sometimes if you're making like a witch hat, you don't add anything at the top. So there's so many ideas you can do here. And that was a little mini flower punch and I think I got that at the Dollar Tree a long time ago. So that'll be the background and then I punched in another little flower. Pretty cute, isn't it? And then a plastic jewel. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. And this one, I used three little scrap pieces of washi tape and just turned it at an angle. And all three of those tapes I purchased at Michael's. And of course, I love the shiny tape. You can't really see the butterfly, but I thought that was cute. And so this lady, she came out of another Tim Holtz photo machine package. And I really liked the way that she looked with that dark shirt. So I was happy to use that little brown, uh, what do you call it, pipe cleaner. So that's a Martha Stewart balloon punch. And after I punched the cover of the scrapbook pad, I went in between and cut those little pieces and I made hats. And then this was the cover also. So I punched out that little miniature picture and that will make a great balloon for somebody's birthday card if they have a birthday on Halloween. See, you can use any type of hat. How cute. Wow. I'm gonna have to pat myself on the back. Look at her. Pretty awesome. So those are all the balloons I punched out, all of the little hats, different ideas for you. And so, I'm making two birthday cards in this segment and I'm going to enhance the little picture of the lady and enhance the balloons. It just gives it a little dimension when you age it. And three types of ink again on the edge of the cards. And again, that was recollections cards and they're usually about $5.99. And that was some leopard scrapbook paper. I'm actually doing the back of the paper just in case the edges show. There I go, crinkle, crinkle. And then enhance the little wrinkles on your paper, your background. So that looks pretty awesome. Leopard is one of my favorites. So let's just glue her down on some black cardstock and rip it. Oh, by the way, I took my little zigzag scissors and I cut around her image. So I just thought that gave it like that old-fashioned look. My grandmother has some old-fashioned pictures like that 
where she took some scissors and cut it. Oh, there's my box of hats. So let's choose a pretty one for her. I like that one. Oh, no, that one's great. That looks so 1940s. Any color pipe cleaner would be really pretty. And that's something to make while you're watching TV. If you can't think of, you know, what am I going to make today? Well, just fill your box with some balloons and some hats. And then all of the ideas will flow. And on that one, I just put a heart. You don't necessarily have to put a jewel. That's a Martha Stewart cake punch. And I enhanced the back of the birthday cake with a black card. And that was the catalog page. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah, almost forgot that. Let's put her happy birthday on there. That's really cool. You could even do a happy anniversary or a happy divorce. And then on the back of my cards, I stamp my name. And then I'm going to add like a little heart somewhere. And again, I punched out the black. Doesn't it make it pop? So what's that on her forehead? Let's get that off of her forehead. That doesn't belong there. So this one, I'm gonna age the envelope as well. There, oh, how pretty. I love it. And don't be afraid to ask a high price when you sell these to your friends. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. So really quick, I use the Martha Stewart birthday punch, birthday cake punch as a hat in the next scene. Those are some of my other cards. And then I took the balloon punch and punched out the baseball player's faces and made them come out of the birthday cake with the string. Okay, thank you, bye.